Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we kill some mutants here in a red cap or red rider. What do they call it? I'm gonna hide here because uh, the red fighter, that's the one. I need to clear the village of mutants. And by mutants, uh, well, so far it's only spiders. And honestly, I hope it's only spiders because the, the I'm, I'm, I'm good with the spiders. Let's just let them be there. Let them be the, the mutants because... Uh, yeah, if there's more than that. I know there's more mutants than that, than the ones we've seen so far. Um, and, um, and I'm looking, honestly, I'm looking forward to, to seeing them. Not necessarily looking for, forward to fighting them. Better you than me, mutant. Bullseye, he says, without a period at the end. Do I get the experience? Because it's better me than you. I did not. I did not get the experience. This is this is bad. This is bad. Bad stuff. Well, but there's people in here, so that is nice. What do we have? You can wash yourself and drink some water right from the sink, but you need to hold some container if you want to take uh, some water with you. Okay, so this probably. Uh, well, I can definitely get the water into my canteen over here because it's empty. So comparatively clean water. Relatively probably is the correct word uh, that does reduce toxic and uh, just in general. So that's the toxic here. Probably is poison. I'm gonna say. Let's use it on me. There it is. Did it work? Yes, it did. Get some more. Because why not? There we go. Get some more as well. So good water right there for us. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Now, where's my pistol? There you are. Come back. Okay. Because I think there's probably going to be more of them. I don't know where that spider came from. Honestly, I thought uh, the cutscene had been made... Well, at first, I thought the cutscene had been made for us to uh, show up from the other side. But um, but no, it just it was meant to illustrate that there's a person with a rifle at the ready. Uh, and uh, that uh, apparently only shoots spiders that have uh, 16 health points or less. Because the spiders we fight definitely have a lot more than that. And uh, I've, I've talked about that before as well in regards to how combat is balanced. We have um Interesting. Do we have a... No, I don't think we have a an upper floor to this. It'd be nice. Okay. I wonder if this is going to be our base or something later on. I wonder how that's all going to work. You know, we're still, I, as far as I can tell, still early in the game. Because uh, we spend so much time just... To, you know, getting to know all the peoples. Where am I? I'm here. How do you get over there? Through there? Okay, are you gonna get shot though? Let me save. Because these things... The field looks acceptable, but first you need to plant the crops. This is correct. Um, and that's probably what the corn seeds are for. Sure. Considering just... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I need... I don't think I need any of that. Okay, so let's uh, have a chat with the person. I don't think I need the corn. I mean, maybe I did. Maybe I do. I don't know. Let's get this spider. Get that spider brain. Very important. How many spider brains do we have? It's actually lymph nodes or whatever. Yeah, indeed, lymph nodes. Nobody shoots me, so everything is good. Okay. We have a barricade. You cautiously approach the barricade that blocks the entrance to a ramshackle house. Weird rustling and muffled swearings come from the house. The pile of garbage looks frightening. Climbing over it or tearing it apart seems impossible, at least not with your bare hands. Um, hey, is anyone in there? At first, having received no reply, you begin to turn away. But then you hear someone shuffling their feet on the other side. At last, you hear a quiet, sneaking voice. Well, what are you waiting for there on the porch, little soldier? I can't let you come inside right now. I can't risk dismantling this strong barricade even for a second to let you in. While these beasts wander around, these genetically anti-Soviet beasts full of mutagenic cola, when the, the Soviet, the 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 Soviet Union not have cola? No, wait, Coke is a, no, Coke is Coca-Cola. Cola is just what, you know, it's just the 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 pop drink, the sort of brown, carbo carbonated water, sugar water, sort of, that. Uh, the, is, is he so, saying that that in itself is... Because it could be. It's an American invention, so, I mean, people 
can think of whatever they like. It's like, yeah. Um, when there are no more of them, we'll have a nice chat. The cola infused spiders. I will absolutely kill them all. But before, don't even ask me to let you in. Don't wrench my old heart. Or I'll shoot. Yes, it'll be hard for me, much harder than for you, but I'll do it. Ivan the Terrible. Sorry, Ivan. Ivan? I don't, let's go with Ivan. Ivan the Terrible murdered his son like a sacrificial lamb even without the mutant threat. And God himself will forgive me considering the circumstances. So go in peace. I, are you saying that Ivan the Terrible was for, for, was forgiven by God for murdering his son as a sacrificial lamb? Is that what happened? I don't know who this Ivan the Terrible is. Um, who are you even? It's, that's a long conversation that will have t take time we don't have right now. When these cruel, hard-necked monsters walk around... Uh, those, probably. Probably those. Um, walk around our village. So what are you doing there? It's hard for me, a man known for his bravery, a man who has always stuck to his principles to admit this, but I'm hiding from the mutants. What else can I possibly be doing here? Oh no, what are you doing? What is that all about? Go away. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Huh. Everything is working fine. This computer certainly is not... Uh, yeah, everything is good. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's probably the controller. There we go. No more problems. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's fixed. Unless it's not the controller. It could be something else. Anyway, who, the, yeah, well, that's that. Windows 10 and its pop-ups, honestly, that is the worst thing. Microsoft has basically... Is, I, 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 I only have bad things to say about them, really. Okay, so apparently there are spiders around. Spiders that... Oh, I didn't come over here, so maybe that's why. Did I come over here? I did. Did I not? No, I did not. And there's spiders over there. No, that's a bush. That's a spider. Okay, so we have nothing over here. Yeah, I went into the other house, the one with uh, multiple st multiple stories, I think, I want to say. Uh, and here it comes, the battle starts. Okay, that sounds good to me. Let's get a shot to the eye for 29 damage. Okay. That is unacceptable. That's just unacceptable. Fortunately, I will die. So any amount of saves coming will uh, be considered, uh, what's the word, uh, not safe coming. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing, but it's just, yeah, that's not okay, that's just not okay. I don't know why I go down so easily, it could be my own fault, uh, considering I have uh, this thing over here. My endurance is not even that hard, it's just, you know, or that bad, I should say, not hard, the opposite of hard. Eighty-four damage. Guess what? It didn't die. Well, we are okay. Freaking Lennon, I tell you, that's a kill. Okay, that's the criticals I need. It's all it's, it's, that's that's what I need all the time, giving maximum damage and everything is fine. Okay, let's continue. It looks like oh, there's so many more. Okay, that's the. I tell you, that's uh, yeah, that's that's what I need. This one looks prettier, prettier than the others. Look at all those stripes, Lennon, bless your soul. Down it goes. Didn't want to go for for um, an eye shot. There we go, and we might actually be able to collect all the lymph nodes. How did I miss this state, this part? Man, this place is enormous. This place is just... Oh, Fidel got a new level. Hunger. When high enough, it can cause negative effects. Yeah. So, next teammate. And I have points. Right, 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 right. Uh, did I not apply them at all before? I think I didn't apply them at all before. You're good. Keep, keep them. It's just keep, hang on to them, because I'll get you a rifle sometime. Actually, I could get you a rifle right now. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, good. Now, I have this, but honestly, this thing should be yours. And because I can control... Oh, no, that's not how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, because I can control what weapons you have. 
You need to go away, Windows, forever. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no... <laughs> Is it telling me the kid? I... Either way, it's all fine. Um, so that thing uses... It is not fine, as it turns out. <laughs> this, 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 I'll, I'll, let me just fix this. <laughs> there we go, it's all fixed. Now, I need you to have that. And I think that thing is loaded. Uh, and I'm going to increase his uh, automatic firearms. That's probably going to be a terrible thing. That's going to be a terrible thing. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a terrible thing. Because I, can I tell him to, sh fi to fire only once? I don't know that I can. So let's hang on to that for right now. And eventually when I have a rifle, when I make a rifle, I'll, um, I'll, I'll train him to be a better rifleman. And we'll see what that, what, what that does. Now let's keep an eye over here because there are, there are many places. Oh, wait a minute. Is, no. That's not the... there. There's in the loading screen or... I don't know if it's in the loading screen or the intro screen. There is a... Um, there is a... Um, um, a four-letter thing that looked like that, but it doesn't say the same thing. Should be on the lookout for these little things and we have... No, we just generally have nothing. It's just killing spiders all over the place. I wanted... Oh, no. Oh, this one is even prettier than the other one. Yay me. Okay, I'm also probably gonna die because the, because that spider is orange and orange is better. Oh, I didn't die, this is fantastic. At least I, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we didn't get any um, journal updates. Oh, also must not forget to get that. And I think that is our 10th lymph node. I'm pretty sure it is, unless I... Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can complete that quest as well. Even though I don't actually remember who wanted that, but uh, we'll figure it out. And I suppose that's that, unless there's something else over here. There is something else. Another orange one. The best one. What do we have? Too far. Good. Yeah. Opening combat is always a better idea. Lenin, you still managed to get in front of me, didn't you? You're gonna die. Th three HP, that is not too bad. Good for you, okay. Because you're in front now. I killed it, okay. Ooh. He was in front, he, the spider, I think the AI might D try to hide behind because did you see how the spider just went you know put Fidel in between me and uh, and it yeah I think the spider might be smart enough to uh, to sort of hide behind a friend which is weird but for a monster let's see the hero is back the powerful warrior who single-handedly defeated the buzzing mutant swarm the invaders wait wait soldier I'll clear the passage for you you hear menacing squeaking from the other side, followed by a rumbling noise. Just a second, the entire barricade is based on one supporting element. Right? Ready. Suddenly, the barricade falls apart like a house of cards. You jump aside just in time to avoid being hit by the construction. Now the passage is open. And I saw movement over there before. He has rabbits? Or are those rats? No, those are rabbits. He has rabbits. He has little rabbits in here. Okay. Hi. There's nothing for me to loot. There's just a person. Can I have a chat with the rabbits? I can't have a chat with the rabbits. Can I see anything about the rabbits? A hare. They are, they are hare. Okay. Hi. In front of you, surrounded by a drove of wild hares, stands an elderly man with a full beard. I would say they are not wild hares. They're probably domesticated because they are inside his domus, which means house. That's where domesticated comes from. Anyway, um, he nods thoughtfully as you approach and speaks his, uh, sp spreads his ends. Hooray! The siege has been broken. No marching band, no fireworks. And by a simple plebeian. Yesterday's ape. And that's precisely what fills my heart with joy. Isn't that so, my brave fighters? Private Karotov. Which definitely is not 
doesn't mean carrot. It's a it means brave and and honorable in Russian. That's where na his name comes from. Definitely not at all beetroot or anything related to that. The old man surveys his um, horde of hares with hope naked in his eyes. That's but that's not even a horde. That's just like a nest. They're just like it's a single. It's a nest. It's a single nest. Anyway, the hares ignore his... Wait. Oh, because he... Yeah. He's, he asked them something. The hares ignore his question and continue to wiggle their ears and sniff at the floorboards in search of fodder. No reply and no respect from these rookies. What can you do? Before they were conscripted, they were all punks, hooligans, and other varieties of scum. But just wait and see. I will turn them into a special op squadron that will sweep away any enemy on the face of the earth. I wonder if this is a reference to, to like the Teenage Mutant Turtle Ninjas. How does that go? Huh. Anyway, um, that's an interesting turn of events, even though it isn't. Or it would be an interesting turn of events. Uh, who are you exactly? Who am I? Oh, yeah, he's saying, he's speaking, uh, German? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who am I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yahol, mine commandant. Isn't that what the Nazi invaders roared? What the Nazi invaders roared as they rushed into battle? You could have made it more blatant that it was Nazis, because I suppose. Well, the, with a with a capital K. Look at that, because German has capital uh, for nouns. I think. Yeah, I think all, all the nouns have ca are capitalized, which is really weird. But for me, anyway. Uh, obviously not for for uh, for Germans. Let's see. But even they broke their teeth on the naked skin of this great, yes, even now great union that's been crucified by the nuclear explosions. I'm talking about our country, the glorious USSR. The man stands up tall and looks straight into your eyes, his gaze brimming with pride and passion. I am the voice of our mighty motherland, Private. I am your father, your spiritual dad, Trudrov the writer, Camp Alias. Hexogen. The writer? I'm not familiar with your works, sorry. Well, that's hardly news. People nowadays are uneducated, but I remember, I remember the rise of our amazing culture. A culture too complex for today's world. My culture, the culture of which I belong, to which I belong, is a refined, classy culture. Urban culture, the Trifonians, that reflected on the drama of the intellectual consciousness. Refined intellectual cons consciousness. It says the same word again. Oh, right, okay. The drama of the refined intellectual consciousness. Folk prose, the divine prose of Astafiev, Belov, Rasputin, and myself, yours truly. This is the pinnacle of literary art, he says. Hexogen, I have... Did he? He say he did say his name. I didn't actually catch it, to be honest. Campylus. Oh, he's that's that's his hi, uh, alias. That's right. Um, because he just says the words Campalius Hexogen, and I'm like, am I supposed to know what you mean by that? Yes, it's his name. Uh, this pinnacle of literary art. He says it speaks of the mysterious life of the villages. It speaks of sorrows of people gone, the ones who left these villages and never returned. The old man is obviously drifting off topic. There's no topic here. That you can off topic drift all you like. It's all good. That sounds nice. Uh, however, no interest. I can snap my fingers at him. Um, I like to take notes. Tell me again. Yes, yes, good thinking, my son. I'll save my stories until we can sit down together. Then, in a different peaceful time, you'll write a book about them. Exogen turns, uh, tugs at his dusty ap apparel or apparel. I don't know. Anyway, and falls silent. Uh, so anything you ask will be a mo but a moment, a speck of dust in the face of the burning red wheel of history. But I am ready to answer. Go on, ask. Um, so how about sharing a bit of history with me? Why do you act so mysterious? Even, does he? Does he act mysterious? A man's history is not like, maybe it's not mysterious, the word. Maybe, why do you act so cryptic? Maybe cryptic would be a closer to what it is. Still not. I suppose it's a little bit, yeah. Anyway, a man's history is not like a. B I I didn't ask about your history. I asked about. Oh, I did actually. Yeah, a bit of your history, not history. I did find it a little bit weird, but anyway, that it would be just history because it's not a historian; he's a writer, which could be the same thing, if because you know historians tend to write a lot. A man's history is not like a bread nation during the siege of Leningrad, our hero city. 
and therefore I ain't sharing it. But I will tell you one thing, because your family, along with such textual gigolos as Gorky Peshkov, what? I don't know what gigolo means. I thought gigolo is the name given to what is the word? To a womanizer, basically, I thought. Textual gigolos, what are you doing? What, how are you humanizing, uh, womanizing? Yeah, womanizing, how are you humanizing texts? Do you, like, what? <laughs> Are you like an editor and just go around and, and publish all the things? Anyway, Gorky Pesh Presh Preshkov, that I don't know, and Damian Bedny, I, the elderly writer Trudov, born Romanov, father Soviet, fathered Soviet literature in the bedroom of young socialism, he says. I stayed faithful to her for many long years. To her? To your... Wait, you... To socialism? You're treating socialism as a her. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyway. Later, when she became useless and senseless, I buried her, and for that, I was crucif crucified on a camp rack. But right now, as for now, I'm looking for something. I don't know what he refers to this. Did he go with the regime? Because I... There's... It's complicated. I don't know enough to really say. Was he a... Did he stay faithful? Did he... How does that go? Did he stay faithful to the regime? Or did he betray the regime? Because... What? Anyway, we'll see. I suppose this has to do with the regime somehow. But the problem is he doesn't say the regime. He says socialism in particular. Um, the, w not communism. If it were communism, maybe... It'd be a little bit different, but I still have no... I, I, I need to learn more about the history of Russia in the 20th century. And just in general, really. Uh, to know all to say this. Okay, so, um, what are you looking for? No, 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 don't ask. We don't know each other well enough for me to tell all my secrets. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, I can't, I can't ask that. What brings you here? Just answer me truthfully, if it isn't a secret. All roads lead to communism, my son. And thus I ended up here, with this crew of disorderly, long-eared forest parasites. I, parasites. I know, it, I know it's unbecoming for the country's last surviving intellectual to spend his days with the likes of these unruly vulgar beasts. But I just wanted to make a break from humans. Take a break, not make a break. Take a break. And these here, these rugrats, made me feel very welcome. Believe it or not, son, some of them were even willing to sacrifice their bodies to sustain mine. Others agreed to join my personal army. But now that I've met you, my spiritual, spiritual son and disciple, I realize it's too early to give in to this insanity. Um, so what do you know about these lands? Places of interest, hidden caches? Caches. Well, if I don't tell you willingly, you'll pressure me for the info, like the Nazis did to Zoya Kosmodemianskaya. I can see it in your eyes. All right, son. Take it. Here it is. The old man grabs your hand and uh, presses your palm. Presses my palm. Yeah. Yeah, presses your palm uh, against his broad chest. Uh, he just identified me as an Nazi, apparently, I think, because that's what he said. Uh, he is, he, he says, here is my most precious cash, and one filled with my love ugh, for the motherland. Ugh, right here is in my heart, the one, oh, right, he's, he's, he's being, he's being, um, uh, figurative. Right here in my heart, the one that stores the sharpest prose and most passionate poetry. This is the real treasury of patriotic feelings and luminous nostalgia. The real treasury. It's not a real treasury. No, no, no. It's the. It's where the patriotic feelings and luminous nostalgia hold their treasure. And it's in the treasury. The treasury. Do not rush to destroy this vault of love. For not even three dump trucks would be enough to carry away all these gems. He says as if three dump trucks actually carry a whole lot of stuff. Mierda, old man. My amigo here is talking about really important stuff. Bullets, guns, abandoned technical equipment. It would be best if you just stayed quiet. I'm not interested in all these tears. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Tales? Eh, could be a typo. I don't know. I'm not interested in the beautiful gold... I'm only, he says. I'm only interested in the beautiful golden grains of poetry. So... 
What's the recent news around here? Apparently I'm going to regret it, I don't know why. Oh son, you know you're speaking to your father here, not to your mother. That nasty talkative broad from the Siberian outback. Maybe that's the sheet that he was referring to before. Your father is a true intel that he crucified apparently, that's hopefully not. Your father is a true intellectual, gossip and rumors repulse him. The old man finishes his speech, leans close to you and whispers, It's better the long-eared bastards don't know I'm telling people all about them. So there's a rumor that Private Karotov's wife, that's... Who's... The, anyway, ate three of her own babies right after giving birth. That's what... Yeah, rabbits do that. Can you believe it? Yes, yes. yes, yes again. Their marriage is completely in shambles. Uh, it's a, marriage is a strong term. And Commander O. Cabbage. Oh, they didn't go with a Russian-sounding name. Well, I guess that's old cabbage, so that sounds like more, uh, uh, like O'Malley. What, where's that from? Ireland, I think. Anyway, just yesterday was jumping over Commander Herman's wife in the meadow. She doesn't have names, apparently. Also, the other one doesn't. Dipstick, says Fidel. We're only interested in news about caravans, bloodthirsty monsters, and ways of earning a few rubles. Well... You know what, comrade? If news of a mother eating her own children doesn't shock you, then for some reason I don't feel safe in your heartless company. Eh. Well, it's they, they are that's that's sort of their nature. Wait a second, son. Wait, 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 my dear. Uh, uh what yes, I'm listening. There's nothing left for me to do with these rascals, these so-called hares. I don't know who calls that. You call them that, so they are so-called by you. I'm sure you realize I am handicapped, and I have chosen you to guide me through this cruel world. I... Yes, please. Also, why... How are you handicapped? Yes, I... lovely. I could use an assistant. I hope you know what you're doing, Boris, bringing this old coot along with us. It's a, with a heavy heart that you let the old man follow you. Without further discussion, that's just... That we, yeah, we do that. Is he really who he says he is? And what will the consequences of your decision be? There are questions for another day. Yeah, is he really... Is he really exo... Exogen? Hmm... Um, I don't think he's exogen. That doesn't make you have any sense. Like, he said... Hmm... That doesn't... I don't... I don't know what to say about that. I wonder if I can shoot these little guys. I mean, I suppose I can. That would be good food, I suppose. But do I really need it? I don't think I do. Anyway, we're out of time for the day. So uh, let's uh, continue exploring next episode. He has a rifle. This is fantastic. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And uh, this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.